Okay, welcome to today's video. It is going to be a little bit of a different one, but it is a really good one. My homie Eric came up from the mainland and we had a big guitar weekend and we had way too many Washburn Dimebag guitars in one location, so we figured we would document it. And that's basically what ensues. Enjoy. We're hanging out. I got the boy Eric here. We've been having guitar weekend and uh, just way too yeah, many dimes here. And it'd be dumb yeah. of us to not make a video. We're basically going to give you a quick little rundown on each little guitar. Won't be too long. We'll just be real short and sweet and then we'll get some riffs with each. And let us know what you think of how it sounds. Watch it go. I won't talk too much about this one because you've seen this in my personal videos, but just got the dime bowl here at 333. <laughs> Replace the Schaller Bridge, got a dime bucker, SH-159 in the neck. So basically it's a 333 with three parts. And this one is a USA D3 from the 2000s that's been rebuilt. We got a flip Seymour Duncan 59 in the neck here. Dime bucker in the bridge, we got a Schaller Bridge here. Ebony fingerboard. Again, this is a rebuilt guitar, but essentially the bones and the skeleton of the guitar are D3 in true fashion. So what do we got here? We got pretty well some of the rarest Dimebag signature guitars. As far as we've been able to hear, uh, it sounds like. Essentially, legend has it, there's only around 52 in each color in red and black. You guys can see the visual differences. You know, one has binding, one has a mirror pickguard. The big difference too was that this one was basswood and that one was mahogany. We've both owned 333s and being able to see the differences within 333s from the factories that they come from has been huge. So being able to have culprits as well and being able to compare the differences from those yeah. has been huge. Like we were noticing crazy differences with like the routing on yeah. the bridge and then his comes with a different bridge than mine yeah. did and mine's like a, like what looks like an unstamped shower but then it's like got a really shitty route on yeah. it and whereas this one i got a super clean floyd rose route and then the bridge on this is just like a cheap licensed floyd rose which is really odd and getting back to this they're both made in korea probably at the same factory same year but exact same year they, these different guitars, person doing qc yeah these guitars are literally like a couple numbers different from each other for the serial yeah. number which is crazy so 980 and then yours was 981 yeah the first three numbers yeah so, so it's, like it's pretty close they're very close but like they're just two completely different animals my favorite deal about the lore behind him was that dime wanted to make a guitar that captured the tone from his dean from hell worked with his luthier worked with them to make a guitar that sounded like him and came up with something that is it's chunky <laughs> Pretty cool guitars. Yeah. I love seeing these ones together. So yeah. there you go. And then the only other one that was in the roost was the 2SD Stealth. You've seen the full series of that so far. And if you haven't, go watch it. I've been reinventing it. I've been refurbishing it, and uh, it's almost done. That's why we don't have it in the video on the playthrough at the end here. We're gonna throw some riffs together, uh, have some fun, and we'll put like guitars back to back to back. You'll get to hear a little bit of what they sound like, and let us know what you think. Yeah. Watch it go.
thanks for watching today's video and if you enjoyed it make sure to click that like button subscribe all of that good stuff and of course check out eric's channel all the links down below and uh if you want to show some support to me of course always check out pc plugs and we'll have lots more videos coming in the pipeline. Maybe me and Eric will do some more collabs in the future. Let us know which guitar you liked best, sounded best, or even just hit us up in the comments and say what's up. That was a lot of fun, and uh, we'll see you all next Wednesday. Peace.